guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, you may notice some lighting change in this video, and that is because finally got my ring light. Actually, you can actually you can see it in my glass. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, somehow I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix that. So, yeah, I got that, so, um, today I thought I would just kind of do a little video my new way to vacuum because with this new wheelchair um, it's presented some challenges. I now have difficulty reaching into my top loader washer which I'm going to be doing a updated review on probably in the next day or two. days um, or an updated review um, but yeah um, I'm gonna go grab my back and I will be right back so for this next little clip I'm going to just do a um, montage or a um yeah whatever so we'll go ahead and get started on that <laughs> and you see this video then there's you an idea of how you can operate your, your vacuum cleaner on your own if you have the stamina in your hands now for me I don't always have the best stamina because I do have carpal tunnel and all so, that being said, you know, I do have some issues there, but for the most part, that will work. Some days I won't be able to do it, and that's fine. I will just do it on a day that... I am physically able to. And sorry about the um, dryer buzzer going off there. 
So. All right, hey guys. So this is uh, well, the next day from when I recorded the vacuum I do not have you on the tripod and ring light today because we are traveling through my apartment checking on things and I see something that needs my attention over here So, yeah. Just, you know, hanging out. Um, it's not the best out today. Um, I do have, at some point today, um, apartment inspection happening. Not sure when. But it probably will be within the next couple of hours, at least, it is my guess. Um, we're supposed to be having some pretty severe thunderstorms here in um, western North Carolina. Just some, you know, crazy weather in general over the next, like, 72 hours. Uh, today's Wednesday, and by, I think, uh, I saw Saturday evening, so Sunday morning, uh, we are due to have snow once again. And today is March the 23rd. Normally by this time, we are experiencing <clears throat> more above average temperatures. More Well, last week and so far this week, we've been in the upper 60s, low 70s, mid 70s, and that is pretty typical for North Carolina weather. Um, you know up to a certain point. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's kind of strange that we're having snow end of March, mid-March. Um, But uh, I also wanted to include in here um, please be in prayer 
for Miss Jan Crason. Um, she fell, um, I believe it was about a week ago now. Uh, her sister posted on her YouTube channel. Uh, I've watched Miss Jan now since probably 2017 or 18. Uh, she's a very sweet little lady um, down near Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, Angie at a Chaos Puppy Farm. That's how I found you. And, um, but she fell, like I said, about a week ago now, and she broke her hip. Uh, when they got her to the hospital, they discovered that she had kidney stones for, I think, a second time in just a few months. She just had a kidney surgery not too long ago. Uh, to correct this issue, and I think... They, they thought they corrected it, but apparently she still had stones and it had set up sepsis. So she is in critical, critical condition. I myself have went through sepsis. And it is not something that you want to experience, to be honest. Um, it, it can make you delusional. It can, it can make you just feel awful. Um, it can make you off balance. Uh, and a lot of things, you know. But yeah, just be in prayer for Miss Jan and her husband Randy. Um, Randy had surgery on I'm wanting to say it was on the 16th and this was two days after Miss Jan's fall uh, and Randy has dementia so it's very a very tough situation right now for, for both of them and so yeah just remember them in prayer so if you like the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment other video suggestions down below and if you are not go ahead and subscribe turn on your post notifications I am kind of coming, kind of running out of ideas, and also I came up with an idea. I am wanting to do foods around the country. So, if you are somebody from a foreign country, please leave some food suggestions down below. Breakfast, lunches, dinner. Until the next one.